Longtime Bolivian President Evo Morales has departed Bolivia for Mexico after stepping down Sunday in what he calls a military coup. Late Monday, Morales departed La Paz on a Mexican government plane. He's been granted asylum in Mexico. He announced his resignation Sunday, shortly after the Bolivian military took to the airwaves to call for his departure. Last month, Morales was reelected for a fourth term in a race his opponents claimed was marred by fraud. Morales his departure has sparked outrage and protests across Latin America, with many saying he was the victim of a military coup. This is Daniel Menendez in Argentina. Han habido enormes avances en todos los indicadores sociales en Bolivia en los últimos 14 años. Eso molestó a los sectores de privilegio que, que se han nacionalizado los hidrocarburos, se ha avanzado en rentas básicas para el conjunto de la población y todo eso una minoría. Eh, en conjunto con la Fuerza Armada está llevando adelante este atropello, esta barbaridad que tiene que ver con un golpe de Estado, con políticas que pensamos que se habían erradicado de la región y por eso es tan importante que los movimientos populares de toda América Latina salgamos a repudiar este golpe en Bolivia. Evo Morales was Bolivia's first indigenous president. On Monday, videos circulated of Morales's opponents burning Wipola indigenous flags. Morales' departure came a week after Bolivia's government canceled a massive multinational lithium mining project slated for Bolivia's southern highlands. To see our coverage of the political crisis in Bolivia, go to democracynow.org.